Oh hey, welcome back. I've got a little story to start off with this time. Twas the night before lockdown 2.0 when all through the house not a creature was staring. Not even Rochelle, because I do like to get up in the middle of the night and snap! The face masks were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that Boris Johnson, please, 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 not be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, apart from me, because I just said I got up in the middle of the night. Snack! The visions of Corona danced in their heads. <laughs> do you know what? Let's not read the rest of it, because it's got nothing actually to do with what I've got to say. It was just a nice little leeway into the video, you know? I wanted to do this video because I wanted to kind of give my thoughts and feelings on this whole lockdown situation. Basically, I mentioned in my I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life video and my Southeast Asia vlogs that I have a new outlook on life where I go with the flow, be spontaneous, don't really plan much and as much as I will still continue to do that, lockdown has made me revert back to my original self where I loved planning things and I would plan everything meticulously. Yeah, lockdown has made me do that because there is so little to look forward to. The only thing I've got is my ability to plan and have things to look forward to. So planning and making holiday trip destination like plans, yada yada yada, all of that stuff is the only thing keeping me going. So the irony of becoming this new person that I wanted to become prior to my travels and all of that. Thanks lockdown. The next day. The state of my bed really, really, really reflects how I feel. So we are now in lockdown number two and I have some thoughts and I've written them down. I've wrote them down. I've written them down and I wanted to do a little chit chat. So it's gonna be a chill chatty video. All right. So we had lockdown one in March. I just come back from Southeast Asia and it was a whirlwind to say the least. My last Southeast Asia vlog was the Kosa movie vlog and come home and then so much happened and then we went into this long, long, long lockdown that we only thought was gonna be a few weeks long and it wasn't. It was quite a lot longer to be completely honest. What I experienced in the first lockdown was this whole drive to become this better person, learn these new hobbies, learn a new language, learn a new skill, be constantly productive, wake up at 7am, 6am, 5am, make the most of the day, be super productive, do all the things in the life in your life that you haven't been doing, all the stuff you've been putting off your entire life, finally do it and that is a lot of goddamn pressure and I know a lot of people also struggled with that. If you weren't doing something productive or something new or something beneficial to your future, you were doing it wrong. And that's not what we're doing the second time around. We are not falling into that trap, especially because lockdown one was in spring. This whole year has just gone down the drain, let's be honest. But lockdown one was in a nicer season. We're in lockdown two and it's November and the long nights are coming in, the dark nights have started, the dark mornings have started. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really goddamn hard because of seasonal depression, depression in general, and then coronavirus depression. So all three unite. You know that meme? You know that meme of Beyonce, Kelly, Michelle at Coachella all combining? That's all my depressions is combining to attack me. I think from lockdown, the one thing I did learn is to have an appreciation for everything. Even the littlest things like having a hug, going to the cinema, sitting in a restaurant. All the little things that you take for granted because you never would have thought that you would have to appreciate them, you know? So for lockdown two, I want to make sure I'm not pushing myself and I want to make sure that people aren't pushing themselves to try and be productive 24-7 because it just leads to a negative mindset because it makes you feel like you're not doing good, you're not doing well and you should be using your time productively. And that's not the case. These lockdowns are meant to be time where we reflect and look at ourselves and look after one another. Yes, productivity and all that is great and it's great for your mental health but I think it's so damaging to be doing something or be doing things 24 7 because it's exhausting like no one can be doing that you'll burn out you'll burn out super quick so for lockdown 2 I really just want to calm down and I really want to do the things that I didn't get to do in lockdown 1 which was actually take the time and be like look I'm not gonna apply for as many jobs as I was I'm not gonna be productive every single day I'm gonna wake up later I'm gonna do things that are gonna make me feel good, like eat healthy and all of that stuff which I was doing in lockdown one, but I'm not gonna force myself to be doing a video every day. I'm not gonna force myself to 
journal every day. I'm not gonna force myself to have a bath a week to calm myself down, have like all the stuff that like going on a run every day, eating healthy 24 seven, eating nothing but good food, doing nothing but good things, learning new skills every day, learning a foreign language one day, learning a new craft another, knitting one day, doing tie dye another, you know, just slow down and really take what the lockdown is meant to be giving us which is time see what our purpose or your purpose and drive is in life i guess let's see what really is important to you and this video is kind of messy but i'm just kind of throwing my thoughts out there so i hope that's okay in this lockdown now i feel a lot calmer and i've taken that pressure off me to be looking for jobs every single day because I did that in lockdown one and that destroyed my mental health. This time round, I've learned a lot of lessons from the first one. Things that I'm gonna do like eating well and trying to do exercise every day but if I don't I'm not gonna kick myself and I'm not gonna try and be productive every day. If I do a day where I don't learn a foreign language that's fine. Doing things that make me happy and not just doing things to be productive and say I'm being productive you know. How I'm feeling right now. Uncertain about the future. No definite goals. Nothing like before and it's a lot scarier. Before there was always that thought that you're living for now and applying for jobs because one was around the corner, doing hobbies, being active, being productive, bettering yourself, pushing, pushing and pushing. I did a video saying that I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I still bloody don't because I don't. And I think now it's even scarier because obviously lockdown one we thought it would be over soon and we thought the top pandemic would be over soon. And then lockdown two came along and I think all hope for silver linings and all of that kind of just disappeared because after lockdown one ended we were like okay things are getting back to normal and we're seeing life pick up again but now this lockdown came along and now it's just like I always knew that this was we were in it for the long haul but I never wanted to believe it but now the second lockdown has just made me go we don't know when this will end and that is scary because I'm a planner, like I mentioned, I love to plan. And not being able to plan is scary, but I'm also moving towards a not being a planner mindset. But right now, planning is the only thing that keeps me sane and keeps me from having a breakdown every day. And the one thing I've also let myself do this lockdown or during this lockdown is gonna let myself feel. So if I get rejected from a job, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna let myself be upset because lockdown one, I took so many rejections. But I just carried on and I was like, look, everyone's in the same boat. We're all struggling, it's fine. You'll get one one day. 300 jobs later, I never let myself feel upset about any of them until a few recent ones. And I've just been like, look, my feelings are warranted. I'm allowed to be upset because it hurts. And I'm giving myself permission to be upset about it and that's okay and i think right now the whole uncertainty is terrifying because there is nothing there is no silver linings because everything is so murky and we don't know what is going to happen in the next two weeks we don't know what's going to happen in the next two months we don't know what's going to happen in the next two years and it just feels bleak it feels really really bleak we'll get through it we'll all get through it and i know we will but it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really hard. And the state that the world is in, applying for jobs during a pandemic, is even harder. Yeah, just the notion of not knowing when this is over is really scary because I knew this. we were in this for the long haul, but now it's clear. Like, I've let myself accept it, and that's what's making me upset and making me scared and making me panic. And we haven't just had to deal with a pandemic this year. You've, we've had to deal with issues that are causing social change, which is absolutely brilliant. We want to make the world a better place, but it's been draining. Do not get me wrong, it's been absolutely draining because one thing wasn't enough. The world decided to throw us more things. And it has been a big old shake up and it's been a big old look at everything wrong with the human race. And it's a lot to deal with. I know all will be good in the end. Everything will be okay. But just living for each day and each day becomes so sloggy, whatever word you want to use, it's that same routine. And it's not a good routine. Like I'm praying for a routine. But the routine right now is just eat, sleep, wake up sit for seven hours on my laptop looking for jobs looking for that and it's the same thing every day and it's it doesn't i have no purpose right now i have no purpose and i have no drive and i have nothing to look forward to and i'm floating that's how i feel we're all agents of change we've all been put here by whoever put us here or whatever put us here and I truly believe we are here to serve a purpose and do good in the world. And right now I think a lot of people, including myself, feel like things aren't going to get better. Having no purpose in life 
is really scary because you can't set things in place to look forward to to achieve because you don't know if they're going to be thrown out the window because they miss what's her word? what's her face and that lack of purpose and lack of drive right now is really the hardest thing to deal with i think so i guess what this video was truly about take time calm down slow down and please 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 be kind to one another because the one thing that this what this world this year has taught us is how far kindness can go and you never know what someone's going to go through or someone's going through or what they're dealing with and we all just need to be kinder and nicer and decent human beings if you've got nothing nice to say don't open your mouth so I wrote a little bit at the end, I'm going to pop it on screen here. One day we'll be able to get back to normal. It's okay to feel shit and feel like there's nothing to look forward to because I feel the same. No silver linings and there's nothing in the future. Let yourself feel bad. Don't guilt yourself for feeling bad. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. My Instagram and on the social media are linked down below. Do you know what I find really hard right now is content. I'm really struggling with content because I have no drive right now and I really don't want to do anything because I'm so miserable and that's being reflected in my drive to do YouTube right now. But I'm getting it back, I'm giving myself some purpose, but we'll all be okay. For the next one, take care, stay safe, stay safe, and I shall see you very soon. Bye.